With over 1.5 billion websites out on the internet, there really are some amazing free gems out there. So in this video today, let me share with you some of the best sites that I found that you can now start using in the new decade. Now the first website in the list is called zlib.org or zlib.org. Let's type that in. Now this website has almost 5 million books and over 76 million articles that you can download for free. On top of that, without using any kind of user account or any kind of credentials, you can download five books per day. But if you do create a free account, that number actually increases to 10. If you just click on books for a second, and as you can see here, guys, these books are not just some random public domain books or books that, you know, you may find for free just on random websites. These are proper books that you typically purchase on Amazon. Uh, for example, this book here, The 5 a.m. Club, which I've actually read in the past. It's one of those books where it tells you the benefits of like waking up early so you can get a lot more stuff done. Now, if I just search for that on uh, Amazon for a second, that was The 5 a.m. Club by Robin Sharma. So you can see that book right now cost $12 as paperback and $11.99 on the Kindle. But over here, if I click on this book, here we can see it gives us information about the book, what year it was published, how many pages it is, you have the ISBN number, and the amazing thing here is guys, I can now just click on this button here and I can download the book in EPUB format, which is the open standard for eBooks. Click on that, so no login, no registration, no you know fake download buttons, literally just one click, I now have this full book on my computer and I can just use a free EPUB reader to actually access it guys. So it really is impressive. And if you do want to send it straight to your Kindle, if you click on this, it'll ask you to create that free account. But again, that's totally up to you. You don't need to do that. You can download five books per day, absolutely free without any kind of registration whatsoever. So guys, you can see they really have got some amazing books on here. Just so many popular books on, you know, all sorts of different topics on psychology, on computing, on Excel. Even popular authors like John Grisham are on here. And again, guys, just click on it, click on download. And I now have this fully published John Grisham book on my computer. And I'm now reading the book, guys. We can see that is the complete book there. So really great website, guys, 100% free. And I especially like the fact that you don't need to do any kind of registration to download up to five books per day. Next up, we have TOSDR.com, which basically stands for Terms of Service didn't read. As we know, everybody is spending so much more time online using more and more online services, but who actually has time to read the terms and services? And when you do read the terms and services, typically they're very, very long and they're written in such a style that it may be hard for the normal person to actually decipher, you know, what they're reading. And this is exactly where this website comes in. So what they've done is they've actually summarized the terms of services for the popular websites or the popular services online and written it in a format which is firstly very easy to understand and they've also highlighted the sort of red flags or you know the areas of concern. So we just scroll down for a second. Okay, so let's start with YouTube because I'm guessing you guys are watching this on YouTube. So let's see what this is all about. Okay, so we can see they've given this a class D, which is obviously not high rating. And here we can see some of the issues of concern. So firstly, we can see here in the terms of services, it does actually say that the terms may be changed at any time at their discretion without any notice to the user. Now, as you know, many, many people actually use YouTube for their livelihood. That's how they basically earn a living. But as we can see here, guys, whenever they feel like it, YouTube can just decide to completely change the terms. Like for example, ban anything to do with, you know, fire sticks or ban anything to do with streaming. Basically, it's totally up to them and they don't even need to let you know that they're doing that. So this is definitely a big red flag, I think. Now look at this one, guys. So the user, which is me as a YouTuber, grants YouTube a worldwide non-exclusive royalty-free license that is sub-licensable and transferable and can be used without any limitation for the promotion of their service. So basically what they're saying is they completely own your content and without any kind of permissions, they can broadcast it, they can do whatever they like. So that's just YouTube, guys. But we can see here you got things for Google, you got Amazon. Let's have a look at Facebook because we know that's one of the most popular social websites. Let's go here. So look at this big red one straight away. It says your identity is used in adverts that are shown to other users. So without your prior consent or prior approval, because of the terms and services, they can basically do this. And here we have, even if you're logged out or don't have a Facebook account, if you do visit a website that has the like button or any other social plugin, they will receive information about who you are, what page you're visiting, the date and time, and other browser-related information. So really, guys, you can see lots of stuff is happening, and most people just don't know because nobody really reads the terms of service. 
The third one in the list is called fakespot.com. And what this basically does is it looks at reviews for items online and tells you how likely that the reviews you see are actually real reviews, i.e. not bots or not paid reviews. And the way it does that, it uses machine learning and looks at like, for example, if this person has only ever done, you know, three reviews, it's always been with the same uh, vendor and all the reviews are five star positives. Then based on that and, and other calculations, it will say this is most likely a fake review. Let's just do a quick test. So if we find a popular product on Amazon, okay, so here we can see an Android 9 box, which has 65 reviews and the overall rating is four and a half. So let's click on that. So you basically get the URL for the item and then you paste that into fakespot.com. Let's paste that in and let's click on analyze. Let's see what it comes back with. Okay, so this has an F, which is not good at all. And it says here that our engines have detected that Amazon has altered, modified, or removed reviews from this listing. We approximate total reviews altered were up to 21. Our engine has profiled the review pattern as determined that high deception is involved. So definitely guys, we can see the reviews in here. In fact, let's have a quick look are most likely to be fake reviews or paid for reviews or even just done by bots. It's a great product, fastest box I ever own, runs smoothly. <laughs> I received this box, absolutely great. And so on and so forth, guys. So based on that, we can see this is most likely not an accurate review. And the website actually supports reviews from Best Buy, Amazon, TripAdvisor, and some others. So definitely worth checking out, guys, just to make sure that whatever item, whatever service you're about to purchase, just to make sure that the reviews you see on those items or the services are actually legitimate. Next up, we have something for all you streaming lovers. So this website is called realgood.com. And what it allows you to do is, is basically search for any kind of show or any kind of movie, and it will tell you exactly which streaming service is actually offering that content. So let's say, for example, you have a Netflix subscription and Hulu and maybe Prime Video, but you don't exactly know which service has actually got the thing you want to see. So, for example, if I want to see uh, The Mandalorian, which is actually a great show, let's click on that. So this tells me straight away that if I want to watch this, the only place that's offering this is actually Disney Plus. Let's search for something else. Uh, let's say I want to watch a uh, house. Let's click on that. And we can see we can watch house season one on Prime Video as well as NBC. Uh, let's try a movie. Uh, let's try something from Marvel. So Avengers Infinity War. We can see that's available to watch on Netflix. So it's a great way to find out exactly which streaming service is actually offering the content you want to watch because lots of you do actually subscribe to more than one service but sometimes it's hard to work out exactly which service has the content you're trying to stream so this website real good allows you to address that issue if you click on movies at the top you can also say for example i want to see all of the popular movies on hulu and this will then show you the content that's available on that particular streaming service and similarly, for example, you could say, I only want to see free services only. And we can see, for example, these movies are actually available on free streaming services. So that's the next website, which is realgood.com. Next up, we have something for you nostalgia lovers, which is my80stv.com. And it's actually a my90s TV and also a my70s TV as well. But for now, let's focus on the 80s. So when you get to this website, you can see it looks like a, like a retro television. And you have some of the controls listed here. And you can say what kind of content you want to see. So... I like some cartoons, I like some commercials, no comedy, no drama, I like game shows, nothing for kids, no movies, no music. Once you've done that, let's click on power. So you're now basically trying to Jesus. power on. And we can see we now have a game show, which is something from the 80s. And we can see that they've used like an effect over the video to give it the kind of the classic look. If I want to change the channel, let's press up. Okay, so we've got some, we've got advert here. Let's go to the next one. So lots of great stuff in here, guys. That's all being streamed directly onto the website. And you've got a game show here, guys. So that's basically my80stv.com for all of you nostalgia or retro lovers. Next up, we have humanbenchmark.com. Now, if you're a competitive person like me, you always just want to be the best at everything. And this website basically allows you to test out your memory ability, your reaction time, uh, your verbal memory, and some of the other things here. So for example, if I go to uh, reaction time, and we can just see here that the average reaction time is 215 milliseconds based on the data here. Let's see what the tech, let's see what the PC doctor gets. So let's click here. And as soon as the box turns green, I have to click again, like now. God, that's a bit slow. Let's do that again. Ready. Oof, 135, that's pretty fast. Let's do that again. 
I think it does it five times and then gives you an average. God, that was so slow. Because well, obviously I was talking, but <laughs> okay, let's do that again. It'll be interesting to see, guys, if you can also take this test and just leave me a comment below and let me know what kind of times you can get on an average of five tries. Okay, let's do the last one. Oh, it's a little bit slow. Okay, if I go to save score. So you can see I'm in the bottom 49%, which is not great. But when I have done this in the past, I've actually been in the top 15%. So definitely do try this out, guys. And leave me a comment below what kind of times you can get on the reaction time of this website. And let's look at the visual memory. Okay, so let's just memorize the squares. So we've got one, two, three. Okay, it's nice and easy. Okay, so you've got one, two, three for this one. Okay, getting a bit harder. Okay, so that, 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 that. Oh, okay, so that, 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 that. Uh, which one, guys? It was this one? Yep. Oh, one more. Oh, uh, this uh, this one? No, that one. No, okay, that one. <laughs> so you can see, guys, it's uh, it's quite challenging. Oh, God, now I just didn't, didn't look at it at all, but um, you can basically see how good your memory ability is, how good your reaction time is, uh, how good your even hearing is. So a great website just to see, especially as you're getting, or as I'm getting a bit older, is always nice to see how this affects my reaction time, my memory and everything else. So that's the next cool website, which is humanbenchmark.com.